Hey guys, it's Yuta. So this video is what you have been waiting for because I will talk about Ghost of Tsushima, which many of you guys are playing at the moment. It's a story about the young samurai that takes place in 13th century Japan. It's based on historical events, namely the Mongolian invasions. Now, Ghost of Tsushima is an interesting game. The setting is very Japanese, but it's developed by an American company. So in a way, it's like the last samurai. I could also say it's like Grand Theft Auto made by a Japanese company. And many people are curious about what Japanese people think of this game. It's a very popular game in Japan too. I just checked the best selling PS4 games in Japan at the moment, and it's number two. So many Japanese people are buying this game. But do they like this game? Let me share some reviews. I checked reviews on Amazon and many people seem to like it. Check out this one. The actions are created well and I really like the character's movements, viewpoint operation, and motions. The vast field is really detailed and the graphics are top-notch. This game is on the pinnacle of open-world games that have Japan as the setting. It's a divine game that will continue on by word of mouth. So that person obviously liked it. And there are many reviews like this one. People just love it. I also found this super long review. It's like a 10,000 Japanese character essay. Apparently some people have plenty of time to kill. Let me read some interesting parts. What's unique about this game is the single combat can be selected when the conditions are met. For single combats, the way they did the camera work, the good sword drawing, and the way the enemy falls down, it looks like they respected Japan's historical period movies. The localization is perfect. It looks so authentic that it seems like it was originally developed in Japan. There are a lot of difficult Japanese words and archaic words. It seems the Japanese version was written from scratch separately from the English version. Although the Japanese text is perfect, since the dialogue's tempo is based on the English version, many parts have the Japanese voice speaking at a fast pace to keep up. It would have been perfect if the dialogue in cutscenes were also synced to the Japanese. That's a pretty good review. This person was impressed by the visuals and also the language. Obviously, most Japanese people play this game in Japanese, and if they think it was as though it was originally written in Japanese, that's a pretty good thing. So if you are learning Japanese, maybe you can try playing this game in Japanese. But if you don't speak Japanese, I will teach you the kind of Japanese that Japanese people today actually speak, which will also give you the foundations to understand different types of Japanese. So click the link in the description and subscribe. Now, even though many Japanese people like this game, you can't please everybody. I could also find some negative reviews. Take a look at this one. Instead of placing importance on gaming like Sekiro does, this game focuses on world views. There was a lot of anticipation before this game was released, and I heard that it was similar to Sekiro, so I purchased it without having much advanced information. Therefore, it was a total letdown. Many people compare this game to Sekiro, but it seems like they are pretty different games. So some people have the wrong expectations. Let me share this another negative-ish review. The graphics are beautiful. However, the female character is the kind of character that can typically be seen in overseas games, and she's ugly. I can't deny that this is Japanese culture as seen by foreigners. But among games having a Japanese culture theme, the quality of this game ranks as number one or two. I'm not sure if the female character is really that ugly. I think this person is referring to Yuna, but she looks kind of average-ish. I think many people have certain expectations because many video games tend to have super hot female characters. I understand that because I'm also a straight man. But I'm also fine if I don't see super sexy female characters because just because she's a woman, it doesn't mean she has to be stunning. She has an important role to play and being beautiful has nothing to do with it. So I think it's fine, but let me know what you think. Now, let's talk more about what Japanese people think of 
how Japan is portrayed in this game. Take a look at this review. What's wonderful about this game is the unspoiled natural beauty of ancient Japan. Wow, really beautiful. The attention to detail, even in the Japanese swords, reflects the care and respect for Japanese culture that was instilled in the development of this game. It seems that every single swing is like a sword cutting. Basically, that person thinks it's very realistic. And the game is beautiful, and a lot of people enjoy exploring the world. Now, I also found a pretty interesting review. Perhaps because I'm Japanese and Japan being the setting, I can easily remember the dialogue and people's names and hardly lose track of the storyline. With Western games, Assassin games, Kumotoko games, etc., I can't remember all the people's names and terminology, so I often end up not knowing what to do or losing track of the scenario. But while playing this game, I can maintain a firm grasp of everything. That was a pretty interesting point. Because people are Japanese, it's easy for Japanese people to remember names. I've never thought about this point. But come to think about it, many video games, including ones that are made in Japan, they tend to take place in Western countries. Of course, we also have lots of video games that take place in Japan, but I would say the majority of video games out there, they take place in Western countries. So it's interesting to see Japanese people appreciate this kind of very Japanese game, made by an American company. And I also found a review by somebody who specializes in history. I normally don't play games at all. However, since this game was influenced by movie director Akira Kurosawa, and I specialize in history for my job, I played the game to kill time, and didn't expect much. It had been the first time for me to play a game in years. I concluded that it was such a wonderful game that people should play it at least once in their lives. Specialists normally look at the details, lifestyle, Japanese swords, terrain, bushido, etc to see how accurate the game is. I can say how wonderful it is. Hard to believe that non-Japanese people created this game while accurately recreating all the details. Well, if a specialist thinks the historical elements are impressive, that must be pretty good. There are many Hollywood films that portray Japan in a pretty weird way from a Japanese perspective, but that doesn't seem to be the case with this game. And I think it's probably because the creators of this game make an effort to make it as realistic as possible. Overall, I have the impression that not only Ghost of Tsushima is popular in Japan, it's also very well received. And Japanese people seem to be very happy with the Japanese aspects of this game, including their language. So if you're learning Japanese, maybe you can play this in Japanese. But if you don't speak Japanese yet, I can teach you the kind of Japanese that Japanese people today actually speak. Unlike old-fashioned and natural textbook Japanese. So click the link and subscribe to my email group, Japanese with Yuta. Alright, see you guys soon. Ciao, ciao!